Well, let me start by talking about high pressure fogging systems. Uh, this is the way that we cooled our poultry houses for many, many years. And the concept is we bring in water at high pressure, we force it through a very small orifice, uh, that atomizes the water, creates a fog, and as that fog drifts down towards the poultry, uh, it begins to evaporate, creating evaporative cooling and lowering the temperature inside the poultry house. So that's the concept of high pressure fogging. Uh, it's been around for many years and it's worked well. The only downside is we are introducing a lot of humidity into the house. And certainly in the South Central uh, United States, uh, the Southeastern United States, even in Ontario around the Great Lakes, we have a lot of humidity. And by introducing more humidity is not good for the birds. Okay, now let's talk about a weed and sprinkler system. Well, what we do is we bring in the water at line pressure at 50 PSI. Uh, that water then comes down through one of our sprinklers. The sprinkler itself has a circular pattern, which is 24 foot diameter or 450 square feet. And those droplets are much larger than high pressure fogging droplets. Uh, you're looking at a thousand microns with a sprinkler system compared to only 100 microns with a high pressure fogging system. Okay, so the droplets come out of the sprinklers, they're heavy enough that they actually fall to the birds and they don't introduce any humidity because they don't hang in the air the way that a fog does. Okay, now when the droplets hit the birds, the birds stand up. When the birds stand up, there's heat released from underneath them. You can feel that heat if you actually are inside the house when the sprinklers come on. We then, the birds have stood up, we then exhaust that heat out the far end of the poultry house using today's ventilation and the birds are now standing with droplets on their heads and on their backs and with the air speeds we have today we actually blow the air across the birds and we create wind chill on the birds themselves okay it's kind of like a you know I uh, compare it to diving into a swimming pool and when you come out the other end of the pool uh, if there's a bit of a breeze you get a little shiver because of the wind chill that's created uh, from that water on your body well it's the same thing what we're doing with sprinklers we actually put the water on the birds, they stand up, we blow air across, we create wind chill to actually cool the birds themselves. Now it's not very much water, okay, because these sprinklers only run for 20 seconds at a time. And in 20 seconds, they'll put out uh, approximately 10 ounces of water. So in a typical broiler or turkey house of 20 to 25,000 square feet, when we run one full cycle of sprinkling, we're only putting a five gallon pail of water into the house. So it's very little water but it's enough to make them stand up, release that heat, exhaust the heat, and create some wind chill on the birds to cool the birds down themselves. Okay, so that's how a sprinkler works. We're cooling the, the object, or we're cooling the, the bird, whereas a high pressure fogging system is cooling down the house. Okay, they're introducing a lot of humidity. We don't really introduce any humidity or very little. Okay, so it, it's very effective cooling for the birds. Okay, and when the birds stand up, there is also a natural reaction for them to kind of go over to the nipple lines and the feed lines. Okay, so that's the difference. Uh, I had a friend say to me just a week ago, he said, it's kind of like radiant heat. Radiant heaters only heat the object, whereas we used to heat the entire house using uh, box heaters and other means. It's the same with our sprinklers. The sprinklers are actually cooling the object or the bird, whereas a high-pressure fogging system is cooling the entire house. Okay, so it's much more efficient. We use half the water that a high-pressure fogging system does. So that's the difference. They cool the house, we cool the birds.